this is a guided mindfulness meditation for embracing change. Change can be scary, and we are all faced with the unknown in our lives, but it doesn't have to paralyze us or keep us living in fear. We can focus our minds to be strong in the face of change and work to be decisive and confident as we move forward through life. Going into 2024, I knew that this year was going to be the year of change, rebirth, and growth. At the start of the new year, my friend and I made vision boards and dedicated the night to being intentional and calling in what we want for our lives. And one of my goals for this year is to recenter myself and rediscover what it is that brings me joy and focus more on those things. But with that comes a lot of change and letting go and shedding of the old to make room for the new. And I have never been a huge fan of change. <sighs> All right, long time no talk. So without going into specifics, I have been going through a lot of life changes recently. Literally nothing is as it once was. And I feel like my mindset has shifted about so many different things in such a short time span, it feels like. There's just like a lot of uncertainty and discomfort. Um, but I also feel like a lot of these changes were necessary. I feel like there's a lot of room for like growth and for hope. You know, some of the changes, they don't make sense right now, but I know that one day, they will. Just shifting gears here, I think one of the biggest life changes that I've experienced recently is that my best friend Janelle has moved in with me. She came all the way from Arizona. She's been here for about a month. And that life change has been one of the biggest and one of the most positive life changes for both of us. And it's just always a really nice to experience such a big life change like that with someone that you care about and love and someone that you know cares about and loves you. And this has definitely just been a whole new chapter and opened up a whole new world for the both of us. Since we're talking about changes, I'm just gonna take you on the journey of that. Okay, so I'm currently at my storage unit. As you can see, there is a lot of junk behind me. Um, basically for the last month, I have been deep cleaning, organizing, rearranging, putting stuff in storage because my best friend Janelle is moving from Arizona to Georgia and she is moving in with me and I'm really excited about it. But at the same time, I have been really stressed because I'm just like getting everything ready for her and I want her to be able to come in and really feel like this is her home too. So it's just really important for me that I have everything in order just put some last minute things in the storage unit today. So, so far so good. This move that she is doing is a really big life change. And I know that because I did the exact same move. So I know how she must be feeling and we're just gonna make sure everything is ready for her. And yeah, so let me get out of here. It's very quiet and kind of spooky in here. So I'm gonna head out now. Okay. Janelle, your mattress is here. Today is the day, y'all. Today is the day that Janelle moves in, only she doesn't get in until like really late tonight. I have to pick her up from the airport at like 11 p.m. So I've been kind of just spending the day cleaning some last minute things, getting everything in order. Um, I do have to go run some errands, so I'm about to like make myself look a little bit presentable. I need to return some things. And then I wanted to get Janelle like just a few little cute little gifts, like little welcome home gifts. So I'm gonna see what I can find. Actually made her this cute little mini like crochet bag. And I want to see if I can find some like cute little charms or something for it. I feel like it needs like a little detail. So this will be one of her gifts. Um, really cute. All right, I was just about to leave, but I had some 
packages at my door and Janelle has some sheets and it looks like some pillows delivered. So I put her bed together the other day and I'm just gonna put the sheets on for her. All right, the bed is made. Let's go to the store now. Okay, so I just got back from the stores and I'm about to put this little basket together for Janelle. So I went to Joanne's to try to find like a charm to put on the bag that I crocheted her. And I couldn't really find anything, but I did find like these glass beads that I kind of just wove into the handle and then I have them like strung along the side here. I don't really know if I love it. It's cute though. It's kind of giving spring Easter vibes. And it's just a cute little bag. So I don't know, I think she'll like it. And if she doesn't like the beads, she can just take them off. Um, Janelle also loves fuzzy socks. So I got her some cute little spring Easter ones. And then I found these cute glass cups at Target. I got her a green one. And then obviously I had to get myself one because it was too cute to pass up, you know? So we're twinning, we're matching. And then I got wine, of course. Um, I don't think I've ever had this one. Don't know if she's ever had this one, but she does love a red blend. So made sure to get her some wine. And then last but not least, um, I found this cute little keychain with the J on it. And I put her new keys to the place on it. And I also have a matching one with the D. So I just thought that was really cute. Keys and stuff. Oh, so I got a new car? <laughs> no, <laughs> I need a new car. Janelle is in town. We're at a coffee shop right now. We're trying to be cool this year. Oh, yeah, good? super cool. <laughs> yeah, the vibes are really immaculate. Um, it's really chill. How was your yeah. first official day as a resident of Atlanta? The first official day is starting now and it feels good. Her and I just really want certain things for our life at this point of our lives, especially just within this new year. You know, we have all of these ideas. We recently started a podcast that we're both really excited about and I'm really just making it a point this year to follow my passions and allow all of these changes that I'm experiencing to happen. I'm just kind of learning to embrace everything and not only that, but I'm allowing myself to trust myself to make changes in my life because I I feel like for so long I have lost the ability to trust myself so I'm really just trying to learn how to follow my intuition again so for the majority of my life I have resisted change I have resented it I have done everything in my power to try to avoid it and not have to face it because oftentimes changes are the catalyst that forces you to have to face yourself and let's just be for real there's nothing more uncomfortable than having to face yourself there is nothing more uncomfortable than waking up one day and looking in the mirror and knowing that it's finally time to be raw and honest and real with yourself. But I feel like the older that I get, I become softer and more open to the idea of just embracing changes as they come. And I kind of get excited now when there's a new opportunity to have to face myself because great things always come from it. I am out in the forest, as you can see. I come out here often to ground myself and to find peace and solace. And it's crazy because I feel like every time I'm out here, I learn something from nature. It's like I get these downloads and I experience like all of these synchronicities. And I'm sitting on this bench and it just kind of like occurred to me that out here, nature is constantly experiencing change. Um, it's a constant cycle of death and rebirth out here. And even now, like a lot of the trees out here are still pretty bare, but there are some trees and some plants that are 
budding and blooming with like new leaves and flowers and just new life. And out here in nature, they don't have a choice. Like they don't have a choice but to surrender to the changes that they are constantly faced with on a daily basis. And the irony of this moment, <laughs> because this video is all about change and I just come out here and I'm just like, you know what, like change is all around us. And what's even crazier, talk about synchronicity, is that I just so happen to bring this book out here that I am rereading. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's one of my faves. In chapter 10, I forgot about this, but he talks about surrender. And he basically says that surrender does not mean that you cannot change a situation or a circumstance that you're in. It simply just means that you have to accept the isness of the moment. You have to accept the now. All right, so this is what he says about it. As for example, if you were stuck in the mud somewhere, you wouldn't say, okay, I resign myself to being stuck in the mud. Resignation is not surrender. You don't need to accept an undesirable or unpleasant life situation, nor do you need to deceive yourself and say that there's nothing wrong with being stuck in the mud. You recognize fully that you want to get out of it. You then narrow your attention down to the present moment without mentally labeling it in any way. This means that there is no judgment of the now. Therefore, there is no resistance, no emotional negativity. You accept the isness of the moment. Then you take action and do all that you can to get out of the mud. And then not only that, but he also references nature. And it says, learn from nature. See how everything gets accomplished and how the miracle of life unfolds without dis satisfaction or unhappiness. That's why Jesus said, look at the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Period. You know, we all go through our own seasons and we all have these chapters in our stories of things being built and things falling apart. And there are even things happening and changing behind the scenes of our lives that we aren't even aware of yet, but they are things that will most likely invoke some type of change within us and through us. And to go through these changes, to embrace the changes that are happening within you and outside of you, and to be able to face yourself during the process and even after it's all said and done is literally the only way to become the highest version of yourself. At least that's what I'm now realizing. I don't know, I'm just like in this era of surrendering. And if you find yourself experiencing changes, I would say just be present, be still, surrender to it. The answer will come, it will not last forever. And if you find yourself wanting to make a change but you're too afraid, just do it. Just do it because that could be the thing that changes everything. To live is to change. And as scary as that sounds, I also think that it's really fucking beautiful. I don't know about you. <laughs>